In this exercise, I will show you how to animate your primary animation using frame animation. To do that, we will first draw keyframes, which will be the beginning, middle, and end points of the animation. And then we'll go in and add the in-between frames that will fill out the animation between the key points and the movement. Depending on your comfort level with the animation methods or drawing, feel free to simplify your subject. A stick figure or a simple doodle may be more fun to start out with while you're learning those skills. To start out, we will click on our layer frame and click the brush tool icon or tap the hotkey B and begin drawing our main subject. It's important to remember to just have fun while you're drawing and not worry about perfection. Oftentimes the imperfections or roughness of drawings actually adds more character to the final animation. I start drawing my character by sketching out the face and hair. Next, I will click the eraser icon to use the eraser to remove the top of the head, which will be hidden behind his hair. And then I'll just go back over the line work, and then I go to his neck and continue drawing the rest of his body. And then each of his arms. Next, I draw his shorts and legs and draw his shoes. Here I click the undo button and then redraw the line. Then I go up to the sleeves and draw the hands. Now that my first keyframe is done, I'm going to drag it to the plus icon to duplicate it and drag it next to the first frame, which will create a video group, which I'm going to call keyframes for now. Next, I'm going to erase part of the arm and redraw it in a new position in the middle of movement. Then I'll repeat steps to duplicate the frame again to create the final keyframe by redrawing the arm in an upward position. Depending on how complex your animation is, you may end up doing more or less keyframes. And now I'm just scrubbing through the timeline to review the movements of the arm. Next, I'm going to start creating the in-between frames that will fill in the gaps of the motion. To do that, I will drag the first frame to the plus icon to duplicate it. The goal for a in-between frame is to create a drawing that captures the movement between different keyframes. Depending on the complexity of your animation, you may need multiple in-between frames. As with before, I will use the eraser to remove the original arm, and then I'll go in and redraw it in a new position, showing the new movement. And to help me draw my in-between frame, I'm going to edit the onion skin option so I can see both keyframes. To do this, I'm going to increase the frames I can see before and after my current frame. Now that I can see both frames, I can draw my new arm position. Next, I'm going to repeat my steps with the middle keyframe to create a new in-between frame. Typically, when someone waves their hand, it moves back and forth while it's up. So I'm going to duplicate the last keyframe to add a new frame where the arm is closer to the head, creating the waving motion. Since this is tighter movement, it's going to look like it's moving faster when played back. I don't want that. So I'm going to extend the duration of each of these two frames by one. I don't want to end my animation with his hand stuck in the air, so I'm going to duplicate the previous frames and order them in reverse order so his arm goes back down to his side. I want to play back everything to review the animation, so I'm going to use the timeline menu and click work area and then click set 
end at playhead to move the end of the work area to the end of my last frame. Then I'll play back the animation to see how everything looks. Next, I'm going to add a wink to my character animation. First, I'll select the frame that I want to start the wink animation on. And using the eraser tool, I'm going to erase his eye and redraw it closed now. To help me draw it, I'm going to turn on onion skin. Next, I'm going to click on the following frame and redraw the eye being closed. I'm showing the eyes closed on two frames so the blink isn't too short that people don't notice it. Now, I'll turn off onion skins and play back my final animation. 